All of Breguet's workshops are found in the Vallée du Joux, which is fitting because the Vallée du Joux is, after all, the cradle of watchmaking and known in particular as the center for complicated watchmaking. And complications are very much part of the Breguet DNA because within its collections you'll find every significant complication in watchmaking. Today, we're going to visit the minute repeater workshop. The watchmaker has already done a lot of work on the sound, which is to say the gongs that you see in front of him uh, have been tested already in the watch and he's made adjustments because he wants to verify the sound for the hour, verify the sound for the minutes, and very importantly, verify the relationship between the hour sound and the minute sound so that they're harmonious with one another. And this has been a process of adjustment back and forth from his workbench into a special sound chamber that we will see later at Breguet. But right now, the job is to uh, insert the gongs into the movement. And one thing you will notice is that the case of this minute repeater is in red gold, and Breguet uses the same metal as the case for the gongs. So the gongs are also in red gold. If this were a white gold watch, they would both be white. Now the watchmaker has listened to the watch on the bench and what's going to happen next is the watch is going to go into that special sound chamber where the sound is going to be evaluated at a distance of 20 centimeters from the watch to be sure that the sound is exactly what the watchmaker desires. So the watchmaker comes into the anti-echo chamber and the watch is placed on a uh, holder the sound chamber serving to allow him to listen to the watch without any distracting sounds from uh, elsewhere. And after he's done that assessment, that evaluation, he's going to come back to the bench where it's time to make these small, subtle adjustments that become very important for a minute repeater to get the sound just right. Now the adjustments that the watchmaker is going to make relate to the gongs. So he's going to remove the uh, gongs uh, from the watch and do the uh, tuning. This is something that might take place multiple times during the construction of a minute repeater. The adjustments to the gongs are very, very subtle. Sometimes it's a matter of changing the length by shortening it. Other times it's a matter of a very fine filing in both cases, minuscule in dimension. Once the adjustments are done, it's going to be back into the uh, sound chamber for a further verification. So there'll be one more listen to the minute repeater and obviously the uh, sternest test of the repeater comes at 1259 because that's 32 different chimes that all come together when you add the hours, the double chimes that come for the quarters, and then of course the 14 minutes. 